Boom. Gila Simulator. Actually, Medieval Shop Simulator. And surprisingly enough, this one is kind of hella quiet. Uh, hello? Oh. Let's have some volume. This is, this is the first game where I've seen them actually adjust their own values out the gate. I don't know what to think of that. But I really don't know what to think of that. Huh. Weird. Weird. Alright, uh, is everything else good? Uh, sh sure. Um, seems fine. Yep. You've only played a couple games. Oh no. Hello, Scooby. Hello, Scooby. We are we are doing simulators tonight. We're doing simulators. All right. So let's get started on our Steam Next Fest evening with a medieval shop simulator and um, new game. Choose your occupation. Oh, I don't even get a description for any of these. Okay. Um, explorer, smithy, farmer, knight, or bandit. Ah, we get a description if we click on them. There we go. Um, other bandits are less likely to target your store. Dirty fighting. Increase crit chance for all tools and weapons. Increase stealth and evasion. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, the one suggested that we did a Gila simulator, and I did not realize that this one started off with Gila laying on the table in the front as soon as we started the game. So, we have a Gila simulator. Little Kitty Big City. That one is on my list somewhere. Uh, Traveler. Better endurance. Stamina, uh, better deal from traveling merchants, okay. Uh, crafter, fire and heat endurance, sure. Um, fortune when processing livestock, physical endurance, better chance for crops to stay alive. Uh, damage, crit chance, take the less damage in combat. I'm going to go with the stealth and evasion, because why not? How, how is Little Kitty Big City? How is it? Okay, so I have played other shop simulator type games before. This is very sensitive, as usual. Uh, chill. Better. Pay 50 bucks of your debt in four days. Okay, I could probably accomplish that. I got a rock! This is one of those kind of games, I see. I got a rock. I got a rock. Now, if I pick up a whole shit ton of rocks, can I pay off my debt with rocks? Can I just can I just win the game by picking up whatever the ground has for me? Recommended for the cute factor. All right, good, good. All right, uh, I'm assuming that's my shop, so let's go that way. We'll do it. My shop is boarded up. Oh, alright. Shop. Oh, alright. This place kind of looks like hell. That's fair. Um, reach the management table. Pick up coins. Pick up tools. I have... Oh. Alright. Let's clean this place up, shall we? Uh, now, what is... I got tools... Let's use them, perhaps. Alright, so you can only sweep up little little piles like this. Okay, good. Gotta make this place spick and span. What does this do? Portal lever. Bathroom. Alright. Hello. 
We are we are cleaning. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up. Are we done? Oh, right, these things. Uh, just those four windows. <laughs> yes, I was sweeping up holes. Just gotta sweep those holes under the rug so no one can fall in. Alright. I have cleaned up as much as I am aware of being able to clean up. Press M to open map. Locate Gooby the Goblin. Sell trash bags to Gooby the Goblin. Where are you, Gooby the Goblin? Uh, Gooby the Goblin. The goblin face thing. Alright, fair enough. He's all the way over here. Well, that's that's quite a ways away. All right, uh, I gotta take I gotta take a, a left at the at the the passageway here, the, the fork crossroads. I guess it's kind of sort of a crossroads. Uh, left here, and then follow. Gooby the Goblin. We're going to Gooby the Goblin. Did I do Disco Simulator? I don't believe I did do that one. Um, I I knew it existed. Something about it didn't didn't sing to me, and I'm not sure what. How do I search for Disco Simulator? Disco Simulator. Ah, yes. It was a management game. It was a management game where the theme did not do it for me. Yeah, no, no thank you. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna ride my broom this away. It does kinda look slapped together. It did not look like a particularly engaging management game, unfortunately. Ooh, enjoy painting your nails, Midnight. I think tonight is one of those allergy nights, unfortunately. All right, this looks this looks rather gobliny. This looks rather Gooby the Gobliny. Oh, uh, hello? Are you okay? Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Hello, Gooby the Goblin. How you doing? I heard you like trash. Uh, here, have some trash. You're welcome. Um. So on your way, collect a bunch of stuff. I need I need rocks. Oh, I've already got rocks. Um, I need logs. That is the only thing I actually need. So, Gooby, I'm still in your trees. Sorry. Gooby, I'm still in your trees. Don't don't hate me. It actually is surprisingly quiet, which is very rare for me to say in games, um, because everyone else is awful at audio balance. So I guess in that regard, this isn't any better at audio balance, just the opposite direction that most of them tend to be. All right, uh, locate the hatch in the storage room. Use the hatch to go down the basement. All right, we're going home. I'm gonna go back to riding my broom everywhere. So how's everyone doing tonight? How how y'all doing? Are you enjoying the fact that it's Friday? Anyone else play any more fun games for Steam Next Fest? Alright, where the hell's my I suppose that that was bathroom, so this is probably storage. Yeah, got I got the pumpkins. I got the apple. Uh, down here now. Uh, equip the hammer. B for build menu and build a saw bench. Saw bench. Oh, alright. Uh, right there. Place. Saw bench. Craft five planks. Okie dokie. Uh, 
Ah. Done. Done. Go upstairs by using the ladder. Do the thing. Build a table. Ah. Alright. Table. I got a table. 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 Press tab for the inventory. Choose products you want to sell. Uh, place five products. Uh, here, would you like a cheese? Uh, two. Place. Cheese. 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 I would also like cheese. Make sure all products have green prices. Experiment a little with the prices. Uh, let's see. Price of cheese. Price range 3 to 5. Current price is 3. Custom price 5. Uh, 4. Okay, just check and see if it goes green or not. Um, price 3, quantity 5. Sure. Apply. Red. Okay. What about 4? Green. Perfect. Locate the lever near the management table. Portal is opened. Prioritize food in the first days. Um, portal usage and costs. Portal and its cost. The portal is used by customers to come to the valley and visit your store for daily purchases. You can open the portal only once a day. Customers will only spawn during the 800 to 1700 time interval. Recommend, uh, the recommended the, the recommended time interval uh, to open the shop is 9 to 12. Uh, at first you can open the portal five times before requiring to pay your taxes in the king's camp. You can get a tax payment postponed if you don't have enough coins to pay. Okie dokie. You can have all the cheese you would like, Scooby. Oh, hello. Hello, hi, how are you? Don't make me hammer anyone. <sighs> Lady. Lady. Jesus, they ate all of my cheese already. Here, have some apples. What would, what would you like? Oh, traveling merchant, yes. Uh, I will take your best cheese, please. Uh, I will also take your best apples. Alright, also, the apples are currently selling for two. I'm going to put them up to three. Hello. What would you like? What is your beef? Good merchant, please restock the shelves. I would like two cheese. Okie dokie. I will give you cheese to stock. Here, have cheese. Cheese, cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. There. All the cheese you could ever want, sir. Done. Have at. Now, it says pay 50 bucks of my debt in four days. I have 200 bucks. So I could just pay that now, couldn't I? That feels like a thing I could do. Um, alright. You have sticks, wool, wax, and clay. Uh, sir, I would like for you to go away. Alright. So far, so good. Running a decent shop. Oh, bye. Okay. I would like, if possible, to build another table. 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 Unlock new build blueprints. Build a bed and sleep to the next day, or explore, gather resources, and craft. Alright. Uh, oh, it's already, uh, it's already, it's already off. Got it. Fair enough. Uh, so let's, uh, where do I build my bed? Do I sleep in the basement? Is that how this works? I need a log and more planks. Cool. I need to go get more log then. A 
log. Can't have that log. Alright, uh, we'll take these, these trees. So what else does this fancy place have to offer? What is, uh, hell, I just realized I don't have a marker on the map, so I just kind of have to know where I'm going. Okay, there's, uh, there's skeletons over here. Hello, friends. You are not friends, are you? Oh, he, he died. Oh, he left stuff. He left a coin pouch that had exactly one coin in it. You guys are lame. Ooh, gold ore. Alright, I can see where this could be handy. Ooh, he had three whole coins on him. Alright, so that I'm assuming is the demon gate. It was on my map up here. Uh, we also have Bear Country. Sleeping bear, don't poke it. What if I take your feathers? And your, your wool? And and your that and that and uh and uh what that that there we go. Uh good day, sir. Oh, hang on. Yoink. Goodbye. Kind of wanted to poke the bear. Uh, and then up here we have a camp of some variety. Oh, running makes you real trippy. Alright, good to know. Okay. There's, there's no one here. Dear Traveler, I created this place to find peace and gather my thoughts. If you're stressed, look behind and admire nature's beauty. Just so you know, I sit here completely naked, and it does wonders. You should try it too. Arthur. Arthur. I mean, I'd take you up on it, but I don't have, I don't have a sit option, so... Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, one thing that I must know. Fall damage. Ow. Yes. Fall damage is a thing. Not nearly as much as I thought it would be, but still. Um, do we have fishes? I don't see fishes. What about the... What about Yep, climbing's good. Alright, so what's over here? I think this is the portal. Uh, special orders unlocks at shop level 3. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Now, how do I go about paying my debts? Hello, friends? Hello, friends. Hello? Richard. Tax payments. Debt payments. Tax payments. Total taxes, seven. Okay. Let's just pay that. Um, and then debt payments. Total debt, 10,000. I need to pay 50 of my debt in four days. Missing a payment will affect your shop's reputation and cost a 1% penalty. If lucky isn't your name, some bones might be broken and some items and coins might be confiscated. Ah, so $50 was just my payment, not the actual debt. I see. Right. 10,000 feels like a little bit high, sir. All right, what else we got around here? So that's the that's the king. We have we have sheepland. We have uh, gobby or gooby or whatever. Um, well, let's go to sheepland. Let's see who's in sheepland. It's probably sheep. Hey, look, it's sheep. Hello, sheepies. How you doing? 
Shearing requires scissors, okay. I feel like I could probably chop them, but I don't want to chop them, so. Alright, so that's that's Gooby's territory. Uh, there's also over here. Uh, we, 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 we over here? No, this way. Where is the toilet paper? I'm very confused by the toilet paper icon. Ah, there's an actual outhouse over here. All right. I've used the toilet. Fair enough. Alright, so all that we really have left is kind of this portion of the map. I've kind of explored everything else. Um, looks like a mining camp up here, some chickens, a farm. But, let's go back and do one more day o sail. Uh, I got enough for making a bed. So let's do a bed. Bed. We're just gonna just gonna sleep down here. We're not gonna we're not gonna sleep down here. All right, fair enough. Hang on. No, can't get in there yet. Looks like there's something fancy in there though. Dead guy and a sword. All right, so I'm not allowed to sleep downstairs. So I'm assuming then that means I can sleep up here. No. I have materials, right? Yeah, I have materials. Oh. It says bedroom door. I legitimately thought it said bathroom door. Uh, so, <laughs> I was like, I have to build my own bathroom for people to use. Bedroom door. We're sleeping. Uh, we're sleeping till... I don't know. Then... Sleep till, sleep till, sleep till then. Okay, so one thing I did not notice was the actual item requirements, or the, the, the survival -y requirements. Uh, drink, water, eat, apple, eat another apple. Okay, so we actually do have full survival that we need to worry about. Um, we've got all of these vitals, and smell is one of them. Where do we... How do we... I don't remember seeing a shower or something. Do I just go in the lake? Is that how that works? Let's go in the lake. Let's go take our morning our morning bath or whatever. I think the closest lake was right over here. Splish splash, splish splash. I'm splishing and I'm splashing. Smell, 0%. I was actually kind of shocked that that worked. Perfect. Okie dokie. So let's put out some more stuff. Some feathers for anyone who might want them. Uh, we've got, we have some, uh, we got some wool. Lovely. Uh, we've got we've got these, these lovely empty bottles. I do wonder if those can be used for like uh, like filling with water or something. Maybe. Yeah, let's uh, slap slap the meat slap the meat down. All right. Let's make sure everything's good. So, the prices are all green. I'm going to put them all at one under the sale price. So this is five to eight for raw meat, so let's put you at seven. Uh, you can go to six. You can go to three. All seems fine. 
And then... I forgot to put about the gold ore. Pride of place right there. Uh, we also have... Sure, we'll bury the gold ore in some... Jeez, rocks. Apparently very large rocks. There, rocks. Uh, rock prices, one to three. I didn't know that those actually sold almost as well as apples. Uh, gold. 19. 18. Perfect. Alright, let's open. Everyone, you all, you all may visit. You may come to my shop. Well, while I wait for them to come to my shop... Time for drinkies. Cheers, everybody. You, sir, I would like all of your finest cheese. And your water bottles. And, uh, and your apples. And, uh, I'll take, take your feathers. And I'll take your wool. And I'll have your tomatoes. Sure, take your wheat too. Lovely. Thank you. Keep him there in case I want to. In case I want to buy stuff. Oh, goodbye, everybody. All right, so let's restock the food shelf. Uh, let's put up some tomatoes. Tomato, 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 tomato. Let's put out uh, some more feathers. Okay, a more a more feather. Uh, do I have more room for wool? I do have a little bit. Uh, wheat. Wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat. And, uh, wheat. The family debt. L to learn more. Uh, the family debt. The family debt. It's a consequence of a mistake your father made in the past. Every five days you need to make a minimum payment, otherwise the tax collector will apply a debt penalty. If you want to save your family and the shop, keep track and make payments on time. We really, uh, we don't really remind you of the debt. You should keep track of it by yourself. Okay, that's fair. Um, Alright, so let's uh, make sure these prices are all good. Tomate. Four bucks. Wheat. Four bucks. Uh, feather, wool, raw meat, those all should be good since I haven't put anything new out. Good. So, I'm curious about the number of people coming to the shop. It seems to be rather low. But it did say that we recommend keeping the place open until noon, so it's only nine. We're gonna do that. Uh, you, sir. And just stay there for the moment. What else can we build? We can build fancier tables. We can build flower planters. Uh, we can build window shutters. Storage chest paintings, curtains, banners, more decorative doodads. Down here we've got a crafting table. Alchemy table, smelter, cooking station, more shelves to put different things on. I'm curious about these, the planks and the logs rack, because they make it seem like you should be able to get more planks and, and logs than would otherwise be available. I mean, this map is fairly big, but it is kind of limited, so there's only so much you can chop down in the place. Maybe there's a way to regrow trees? Maybe they regrow over time? Who knows? 
However, crafting table. I actually got, uh, I got room for that, so let's go down and do that. Uh, this one. Building menu. Crafting table. Let's put you... Uh, let's put you over, yeah, right here. Right by the fire. Right by the fire. Okay, so arrows. Arrows is feather and sticks. Oh, okay. Wooden hammer. Stone hammer. So we can make some tools to sell. So three to five for an arrow. Well, that is a stick and feather, and stick and feather sell for as much or more. So it might not be worth doing that, but uh, a stone hammer might be worth selling. Let's make a, let's make a couple of those. Uh, we also have thread out of wool. Sure. Fabric. Interesting. Just an extra step of processing is enough to get the fabric to be worth or the, the thread to be worth more. So we'll make two two of those. Let's go sell them. Hello, sir. Are you, uh, you good? He's good. He's fine. Oh, right. I don't have a place to put it. Ah, uh, here. Let's take these rocks off this table. Ah, uh, fabric. Fabric. Your price can be... 18? Yeah. Happy people. So here's where I could potentially choose to buy things and then turn them into other things. Like I could buy the flower seeds and the nails, for example, and then turn those into a uh, flower pot for my, for my place. I'm sure we can get these things through other means, but that's an option. Sure, you may go. Um, I'm curious, it does not... Uh, icon. Icon, sir. Uh, it does not appear that anyone else is coming. I feel like people should continue to come throughout the day. Maybe? What is Icon? There's Taxman. The king has a gift for you. That's what the icon is. Alright. Hello. King's gift. The king's storage is overflowing. Surprisingly, his majesty has decided it's best to give the items to the people. Oh. Uh, so I get a bucket of milk, two butterflies, and an onion. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Strange gifts from the king, but uh, don't look a gift king in the face or whatever that saying is. Okay, we are back home. Shut for the rest of the day. I am... I am very curious. I'm very curious, because I opened it up and I got, like, four or five visitors tops. And that all happened within the first, like, hour of the day. Is that all I'm going to get? Because they did say it can be opened at any time between 8 and 1700 hours. Best to open between 9 and 12. I opened it before 9, and I was kind of expecting for it to stay open until end of day, and more people to shuffle in throughout the day. But it seems more like you get one opportunity to open the gate, a handful of people are going to come through, and that's it for your sales for the day. I wonder what the deal is with that. Are we going to get more people, or is that it? More people the longer you play is possible. More people the higher my reputation is, is another possibility. Um, so, let's read this one. Shop has important stats. Reputation dictates the amount of customers that will come to see your shop and buy your products. Well, that was an easy answer. 
done. Cleanliness dictates whether they'll even enter the shop. Appeal will attract more customers as well. Um, safety is the safety of the valley. You'll need to battle, battle enemies if they upset the customers. Um, debt, whatever, and taxes. Okay. So, a combination of reputation and appeal will determine how many people are going to show up per day. Good to know. In that case, what I might do is uh, these tables, these better tables, are a higher appeal rate. Um, and they require the two fabric that I happen to have here. So, can I... Can I... Bonk. Hold Q to delete. Let's X to move it. Um, and we'll put you over here. Uh, can I do this? I cannot... I cannot move this table because it has stuff on it. That's fair. Um, so let's put this back on this table. Uh, and then we'll... We'll build... I need to go get more planks. Just to make sure I have enough. I do, just barely. Definitely gonna need more logs if I'm gonna keep upgrading the place. So you can go right there. Nah, that'll be fine. You go right there. Lovely. Okay, so let's put the gold right here. Bonk. And let's put some, I don't know, stuff over here. Butterflies? Butterflies. Butterflies. No. Uh, stone hammer. Next to the butterflies. bucket of milk. No, has to be on a table. Yes, that's how that works. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's go to bed quick and then we'll reopen for tomorrow and see how people like my shop. I didn't. I didn't actually, I didn't actually sleep more than an hour. Oh, I can't sleep anymore because I'm going to thirst to death. I see. Ah, uh, right. Oh, okay. Out of curiosity, uh, because I just used this bucket. Water. Fill bottles. Fill bottles! Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't be selling my empty bottles, then. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell my empty bottles, then. Give me those back. Hydration? Thank you, Midnight. Alright, so let's go finish filling the rest of the empty bottles, then. Not entirely sure what the buckets of water will do, but it's fine. We'll figure that out later. Uh, and also, I need a snack. So we can sleep until morning. Now, I should be using the rest of this time to gather more resources and make sure that my shop is ready to go. Um, but I want to I test out that whole appeal thing. Let's go have a little bit of a dip in the pool. Make sure we use the facilities. Dip, dip, dip. Dip in the pool. 
Smell needs done. Perfect. New prohibition law. Based on royal reasons, some products might be banned from selling. Selling a banned product results in higher taxes and even fines. It's up to you whether you want to deal with angry customers or higher taxes. Ah. Oh. I'm not allowed to sell apples. Fine. Be that way. I wasn't gonna anyway. I'll just sell more tomatoes. Jerks. Fine. Be that way. Open up. Everyone come to my shop, please. Sound does stop when you tab out of this game. That's interesting. Not all games do that, but some do. Alright, hello everyone. Yes, buy my gold, please. Also, hang on. I didn't finish the stone hammer price. Here, hang on, hang on. Don't buy it yet. Uh, butterfly, butterfly. Uh, 13, 14, 13. Yeah. Okay, now you may buy everything. Oh, hi. Now you may buy. I said you may buy. None of you are buying anything. What would you like? You can't have apple, ma'am. It's illegal. Actually, I'm kind of curious. You want meat. I don't have meat. Hang on. You. You want apple. I don't have apples. What do you want? You want rock. Oh, I can do rock. That's no problem. Here. Have, have rock. Ma'am. Rock. Done. Uh, sir, do you have meat? Ooh, healing potions. Uh, sir, does not have meat. Does have apples, but, um, meat. Right. Ooh, um, hmm. Well, it says it's illegal, but I'm curious. Apples. Ma'am, go get your apple. Sir, go get your apple. You. Uh. Uh. Guys, you're supposed to buy the apples that you asked for. Uh, ma'am? If you hold still, I'll be back. Hang on. I think they bought the apples. Hey bear, hey bear, do you have do you have meat? Bear doesn't have meat. Ah, goddamn. Bear doesn't have meat. Alright, uh, we have someone asking for a product. Oh, right, that's the the meat lady. I'm sorry, I don't have meat for you, ma'am. I don't have what you're looking for. I'm sorry. Okay, well that was exciting. Um, sir. Carrots. Let's have some carrots. Let's buy bags of grain. And you know, I kind of want those healing potions. Uh, let's buy more wool. And, uh, yeah, you may go. Now I have 44 bucks. Oh, I started with the, um, the bandit, the bandit class. Onions. Uh, carrots. Those carrots take up a lot of space. Um, and then... Grains. Gr 
grains. Uh, Healy potions. Healy potions. Uh, let's do... Oh, I will sell one of these. Yeah, the bandit thing seems safer, for sure. Because um, the, the combat bonuses doesn't really feel like it's ter that terribly useful. Never know, though. Never know. Uh, let's go 23. Carrot can be 3. Grains can be 9. 6. Okay. Done. Let's do... Let's do another sleepy. I'm just curious what the days bring. Because again, I could definitely be spending more time gathering resources rather than buying and selling with the with the market man but I'm, I'm just I'm just curious how my peeps come in my reputation is growing as I'm selling stuff which is great Dip in the pool. Should be good. All right, we'll do one more one more round of selling before. You know what? No. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We'll do one more round of selling, and then I'm gonna go around and check the rest the rest of the map that I haven't done yet, and to see what else there is out there. I am curious about the the farming and the animal husbandry elements. Because they did have the farmer roll, which made it more materials from farming and livestock. So they make it seem like you can take care of livestock. I did see the sheep that you can shear. Maybe you can uh, gather eggs from chickens, or who knows. Everyone, welcome in. I will axe anyone who acts up. Axe the act up. Everyone buy my shit. Buy my ship, please. Do 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 do. Oh, what do you guys want? You, I don't, I don't have more butterflies or gold ore. Lamb wants meat. Okay. Uh, you, sir, what do you have? Ooh, rock for sale. Cabbage. Wax. Flower seeds, nails, rope, potato. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy. Flower seeds and nail. Hang on. Uh, B. This thing. One flower seeds and one nails gives me the ability to buy the, the flower planter. So I'm going to buy three planks. Flower seeds. Nail. Buy. Build. Can I put this out? I can put, I can put this out here. Lovely. Lovely. More shop appeal. Okay, uh, sir, I don't have any gold or butterflies for you. I am sorry. Ma'am, I am sorry. I apologize. Uh, you, sir. I just don't want a thing you're selling, so go away. Those people were happy for me to tell them that I didn't have what they wanted. Seems a little odd, but I'll take it. Um, Alright, so we're closed for the day. I made barely enough money, I'm going to sell, or I'm going to go over to the tax man and give him my 50 coins out of 58, so I will have a whopping 8 coins to my name, just so that the tax man don't cometh. She changed positions. She was over here the other day. Interesting. Sir, debt payments. Okay. Done.
now we go over and see what's at the chicken shop. I kind of, I kind of want to, no, no, I'm not going to axe the sheep. I, I kind of want to see if you get meat out of the sheep. And I'm, I'm curious if there's any like animal husbandry, like getting more sheep, but uh, it'll be a different time. Okay, so where am I? I am here-ish. So south should be mining. Rock. Break with pick. Rock. Break with pick. Okay. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, this is a general mining zone. All these rocks can be broken. Wonderful. Iron ore pocket. Break with pick. Even better. Okay. What's that? What's that? Hello. Kind of terrifying. Alright, so uh, now that we're past there, we're going up to a well and a farm. Well. Chicken. Chick chicken. I cannot interact with chicken. Hello. Good morrow, honorable recipient. You may have noticed the grave in my yard, which surely indicates that I am currently f away from home or, you know, at least six feet deeper. As I do not have any close relatives, I am willing to bestow my house upon whoever reads this note. If you wish to enter my beloved abode, you should seek out my old damaged cart, which I have left abandoned in the woods near the three farming fields. When you find the cart, look, for, uh, look around for a stack of firewood and you shall find the key. Percival. Rip Percival. So is this how we get a farm? <laughs> Finders keepers, basically? Uh, so this is cart. Firewood. Unless he means fields elsewhere. Ah, I see. Cart. Alright, I can't actually... There we go. Cart. Old broken cart. Firewood. Key. Alright, I'm on board with Finders Keepers. Aha! Percival's coins. Nice. I got 60 bucks. Potatoes, grains, pumpkins, apple, bed. Lovely. Okay. Right, let's take potatoes. Let's take all the things. Bed. Okay. So, can I... Can I farm? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> the spookiest fruit in the patch. Place. No, I don't believe I can actually farm. At least I'm not aware. Hmm. I feel like there's a purpose to this place, besides just finders keepers. It's entirely possible that that's the only option, but I feel like these farm beds should be used for something. Like, to grow your own crops, so that you don't always have to buy your own crops. Um, it, it feels like there's a purpose here. I don't know how to make use of that purpose yet, and maybe it's not in the game yet. Entirely possible it's not in the game yet. But you never know. Hello. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, not, not entirely sorry. What's up here? Deer and ore and bones. 
Deer and ore and bones. Hello, dragon bone. Ah, oh, there's gold in them dar skulls. How do I... Ah. There's gold in them dar skulls. Alright. Good, good. And then all these are just uh, breakable rocks with probable random stuff inside. Then we have deer for, you know, meat and stuff. I'm very curious how much respawns. Like, do the deer respawn over time so we can keep having more meat? Um, does the farm have uh, a growing option? Would the chickens respawn if I were to take, take them for their meat? Okay, well, we're gonna try a real weapon. I have I have acquired chicken bits, meat, feather, egg. So yes, you can take them for their bits, but do they respawn over time? Will there be more chickens, or is it is that all you get on the map? I don't know. I'm curious. Uh, more chicken this way, and then this way we have a, a mine of some variety. It's also noon. Why is it getting dark at noon? Unless that's supposed to be midnight. At which point, why is it not already very dark at midnight? I'm confused by this world's clock. But it's okay. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Sir? Hello? Archibald! What do you have for sale, my good man? Pick, rock, iron ore, and clay. So he sells well above prices, but he is probably a reliable source of these items if I were to need them for actual purposes. Uh, good to know. Oh. Archibald the Miner. Archibald is the best miner in the valley. He's also the only miner in the valley. You can buy pickaxes and ores from him, but the prices are really high for someone who works in the depths of the mine. He can let you enter the mine only if you prove worthy. How? We, we might tell you later. Ooh. Way to be, uh, way to be all secretive about it, guys. Alright, so we have to earn Archibald's favor to get into the mine to do mining. There's actually quite a bit to this game. And uh, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. We have, we have combat. We have farm animals that are randomly wandering around that we may or may not get more of over time, I don't know. Um, we've got a shop to manage, we've got a bear to not poke, we've got, uh, we've got, like, shop reputation and prettiness to manage, so we got to build up our shop to make people like us more. We have a king to appease. We have weird time to worry about in this place. I don't know what's going on with the time, but it's very dark. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it is now nighttime, so that's got to be midnight on the clock, but I'm very confused as to which time of day that actually is, but it's fine. It's fine. I kind of like this game. I do like shop management games, especially ones like this that have more to it than just shop management. Um, I would like to see more people come throughout the day, but again, as we've covered, that will happen as you make your shop better. So, you know, probably going to happen. But that'll be it for the Medieval Shop Simulator. On to the next game.